A one, two, three, four. guys today i'm going to talk about what happened at my uh plant sale so i was having some reservations about this plant sale because i was thinking to myself inflation gas is expensive um it's not even halfway through spring yet uh, even though we were we've been having really good uh, weather lately and also rain so uh, but I did have a whole bunch of plants out there where I wanted I needed to sell them just get rid of them uh, I and I also said that I was gonna put some on Etsy I didn't have time to do that so I'm going to reserve sometime next week and just put everything on Etsy I really wanted because it it would be so much easier for me if I could just lay everything out there and sell them that way. But I was thinking also inflation, a lot of people were doing a bunch of garage sales. I think it was like the first day of garage sales for some reason, and uh, April 9th. So even though I had advertised it, I had, posted a whole bunch of signs everywhere um very uh, distinctly places where there's a lot of traffic going through uh, a lot of people have seen my signs because they told me when i was you know the first thing i asked them also oh, my signs work and they said yeah we saw them everywhere but even though it, it it was that attractive it's a hit or a miss when you're trying to do a plant sale which is perhaps not the priority for people around here uh, it was if it was maybe somewhere where it was more rural because because a lot of people have enough space in their yards to um, plant something you know and it's still it's still raining and so i might have to make a long story short, I might have to do it again. And maybe this time when the weather starts getting better without the rain, all that, some of the people that came to my plant sale were people that just wanted to make um, an arrangement for, for a pot or um, a father has this pot that they just have to add more plants to it. That's fine. Uh, however, I was... I was hoping or I was expecting to get more people, but there wasn't a lot of people. There were people who were intentionally wanting to buy plants and the people who, I had one person that spent $40. I mean, that's, and and she went away with a whole bunch of plants. So uh, I need, I just need to keep it going. It's just like repetition. If you want um, to, to, do something and for people to know that you're there and they think about you you're the first one they think about when they think about plants you're gonna have to keep doing it and i have to keep doing it i have to keep advertising it consistency is the key okay so if you're gonna do it like i did if i'm just gonna do it once in a great while nobody's gonna remember you they would remember somebody who's constantly doing it and but I don't know if I have all this energy to do it. I'm going to have to do it and I'm going to have to see like what the difference would be. Uh, but I did pretty well. I, I can't complain. It was like I didn't expect that. Uh, I didn't really expect th this many people to re really purchase, you know, and some of the people were raving. Some people were raving about the signs. Some people were raving about the plants some people were raving about the the garden which is great because i was able to show them like hey if you buy this plant this is what it's gonna look like in six months or a year um the you know the 
fritessens that that I uh that really spindly one that's really bushy you know people were shocked that oh this little plant will do that yes <laughs> you know so um I was able to explain to people I had my Venmo sign I had my uh my little QR for the Venmo and I have QRs for you know tips on how to take care of succulents and my channel all that stuff so you know even though not a lot of people paid attention to it that's that's fine because if somebody was interested in care tips or how to fertilize and all all that then they could just like take a picture of the qr code and go there and it's there for them for their um for their uh availability so um all in all it we had the sale from nine to two there were still people coming at like 1 30 and two o'clock really after we were putting away stuff not a whole lot okay so don't expect that it's gonna be like a garage sale like people are just gonna come and just like go crazy i'm supposing if um i was if I was very well known and I did that, um, I would be able to to sell like that. Like people would really come because the plants will really make you happy. Come on now, like you, I go out there and for for what five dollars you you know you you're planting this thing, you're hands on, and you're in in the ground planting it, and then you see it growing. And I mean, it's there's just a little different perspective if you really think about it the the joy that it would give you to be able to take care of this plant and be able to see it thrive and you know on and on and on and having a garden all that stuff that's invaluable that is something that you can't that can't be bought. The joy that you feel in um, seeing the, seeing something alive, the thrive in your garden, it's just, and most people say, oh, I just killed them. I would take my mind out of that, you know, it's it's like a stigma. You take, the, take your mind out of that stigma and put it on a more positive side where you say, Okay, I'm buying a, a plant because it gives me joy. I'm going to try to find a way to keep this alive. Because if I can do it, you guys definitely can too. No matter where you're at, no matter what what part of the, the world you're, you're living in, um, you can take a plant. It may not be a succulent because succulents are kind of picky where they're going to thrive. But if you if you put them in the right condition, in the right setting, in the right feed them the right way, um, take care of them the right way. Don't overwater. Don't um, you know? Don't give it direct sun or um, just put put them in like a shady place, no less than thirty two degrees Fahrenheit, <laughs> um, or sometimes forty five degrees Fahrenheit if you're able to protect them from the elements and i mean this this plant will give you, bring you joy for the rest of your life even if it's not a succulent i have a, a bunch of indoor plants that give me joy every time i see them even though i'm um watering them watering them also feels very therapeutic because you're looking at this plant and it's like dang, I bought this plant like a year ago and look at it now. Look how much they've grown. And especially my begonia. Again, I go back to my begonia. My begonia is like huge. I don't know what to do with it. It's, it's going, it's go. I have to cut it. I have to make more begonias because it's so beautiful and it's just popping up. It just, I'm just giving it the right condition for some reason. It just loves where it is. You feel like you're successful in, um, making something thrive you know especially if you don't have more kids i am uh, an empty nester so i can say that my plants are my kids and i see something happening uh, you know that that it's struggling or something it just drives me nuts the aglonema, aglonema um 
tricolor, supposedly tricolor from Jakarta, um, Thailand, Indonesia. Uh, I don't know. It's struggling right now. It's like, you know, I rescued it. It was, um, it was kind of, I don't know what's happening with the roots. It wasn't growing enough. So I put it in the water and the water just made the roots grow. And then I put it back in the soil. It doesn't like it for some reason. I don't know. So, um, you know, you got to cut your losses. You can't be successful in everything. That's just life, right? That's just life. I mean, you can't win them all. But for the ones that do win you, um, something that would make you feel so proud that you are doing this for a plan. It's a success. It's like being given a trophy. I mean, I love it. Anyway, that was my uh, spiel about my sale. It was okay. You know, I didn't get, I wasn't able to get rid of everything, although I was already happy with what I've got because I will be content with whatever I get. I'm going to be very thankful for it. And I'm going to have so much gratitude that it's just going to push me to do more and more and more later on. This is the time if, if you guys are uh, ready to do this yourself, this is the time to pre prepare it, prepare yourself. It took me, um, I think it took me a month to do everything that I had to do. And I had a list, you know, from the the legend of the um the price the prices which was very helpful because if you already have a legend and you're just sticking you know dots on your pots and not having to put down three dollars two dollars blah 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 and not having to say okay i'm just gonna whatever you know how much is this how much is that? it's everything is out there they don't have to question this the simple questions that would be asked it's already answered because you have a ledge. And then all you're doing is calculating how much they owe you. Venmo right there. They don't have to, if they don't have enough change, they would buy more if you have that Venmo there rather than just accepting cash for it. Because if they don't have enough cash, then they're going to be limited with what they can buy from you. So if you have the Venmo up there or PayPal or just information whatever is zell it would be easy for them to just like they they're not thinking because they know they have the money in the bank as opposed to not having money in their pocket in their purse girl, the girl that bought forty dollars worth um she just i have this pot i don't know what to do with it i don't know what plants to put in it and i'm like do this for height do this for texture do this for um filler do this for focal point, all that stuff. So I gave her a whole kit of what she needs to, to do to make that arrangement. So if you have all these ideas that you can give them, they're going to be um, very inspired to do, you know, your vision transferred onto their vision as well. So you you guys are exchanging values. That's part of the marketing that, that you need to think about when you're there you have to be present you can't be hiding behind which i was hiding a little bit behind because i didn't really want to be intimidating like because people are kind of intimidated when they approach your table and you're there just watching them you know i was making my pine basket like this one and um you know, I'm just doing it. And then when they say, hey, how you doing? You know, the, like, hey, how you doing? You greet them and say, hey, how you doing? So that you're approachable. And when you're approachable, it will make it, it will uh, make them feel comfortable being there as opposed to uh, being watched. I, you know, I don't want to be watched. I just want to be shopping, looking at things. And um, if I have a question, you know, then you're there, you're available for them to answer the question. But if you're on their backs, you know, like just watching like a hawk, like, hi, hi, oh, you look at this, you look at, some people don't like that, you know, so I would like let them slowly 
um, open up and be comfortable with me before I go in for the kill. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> before I go in and start talking about the plants, you know. And if they don't want to listen, I kind of get that feeling when they don't really care what they're, you know, buying. Well, I'm just buying this for my dad. Okay, so you're not really interested in plants. You just want to make somebody happy. You just make suggestions like colors and how do you put things together even though they all look, look they even though they're all green in color when you put them together oh my gosh the, the it just looks so so much so colorful like you know there there are some succulents that are more light that are lighter and they look more white and then when you put them next to like maybe a vera higgins you know vera higgins are more red you know and the the jelly beans are more you know really red especially when they're stressed you know then you put those together the blues and the reds and the pinks and all this stuff. i mean even though they're all green it's just so weird like they're all green they all look green but when you put them together they're so colorful i just ugh. this is why i love succulents so much is because this is the kind of thing that just excites me about it and it's like why don't you guys see this <laughs> you know? i'm like why don't you guys see this is so beautiful like i can't believe that uh you know just i don't know maybe i'm just over you know, i'm just intense i'm passionate about um plants so <laughs> maybe that's why that's why i you know i'm just like how do you not see this you know and so yeah that's pretty much what happened okay here's another thing my my advice to you guys is if somebody is very interested you can advise you can um suggest to them you can put your stuff together whatever you want and put a down payment on it it doesn't matter where whether it's five dollars you know two dollars whatever put a down payment on it this is from my experience okay there was this lady with a child who was um i don't know um 14 maybe she's saying that oh he's in charge of uh, my garden he loves gardening oh great okay so would you like me to put some stuff away for you and you can come back because she's like oh i gotta go get my husband i don't have the money we're just walking blah 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 okay fine so do you have any money on you like two dollars whatever you can put that two dollars to for me to hold this because and then you can come back with the rest of the money put a deposit down and they can come back and get it and why do i say this that lady the same lady said okay um i will come pick it up later what did she do i put everything away i put all the stuff that she wanted like in a pile you know just in case she comes back she can knock on the door she didn't really knock on my door my husband and i were home the whole time she didn't really knock on my door but what she did was she left a note and on the note she said hi i'm this and that and i was the one that wasn't very interested in the oliveras um you know call me at this number so i call her no one answered the phone i left a message i said that i'm the succulent seller and i just want to let you know that i put your whole um group you know in inside the the gate of my the fence it all totaled out to 30 dollars. so if you want if you want to pick them up pick them up and just put the money in the mailbox or send me a Venmo, whatever. Didn't hear from her, okay? Two days went by, three days went by, nothing, nothing, nothing. In the meantime, the plants are still sitting out there. It's still sitting out there right now, so you know where I'm going with this, right? So, four days later, husband calls me, and he says, my wife had an emergency, so she wasn't able to pick up the, the plants. So I'm coming now in 10 minutes. I'll be there in 10 minutes. And how much was it? $30. Okay. That was three days ago. 
by the way. The plants are still sitting out there, which, you know, I mean, if he, I was trying to call him because he didn't ask for the address. I don't know if he knew where it was. So um, I don't know if he changed his mind. I don't know. I don't know anything. All I know is that they didn't show up, both of them. So I could have sold those plants between the time that she walked and asked me to, you know, until the time I closed. But I, I, now I'm out, you know, because somebody could have, but there could have been a chance where somebody could have bought those plants. But now I'm out $30 because of her. So my advice to you is that if somebody was interested and they want to have a grouping and you put it away and you say, hey, put $5, $5 for a deposit. If they don't show up, at least you still have $5 that is non-refundable now. Right? So that's that's my only thing that was a negative. Um, I don't find that not selling out is a negative because that's just how it is with business. You just cannot um, foresee anything like that. You can't just expect that everything will sell, even though you do expect. <laughs> you do expect, you, you hope that every everything will sell out, but um, you can't expect that everything will sell out. But, but I have to take a chance. I have to, to make sure that I do the best that I can to put the word out there and have people choose to pay for 1-800-Flowers that is going to, you know, just die after a, whole, after a certain time. Or they could have the gift that keeps on giving. Remember? The gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> Anyway, that's my spiel. I hope that you guys took away some tips from this video. And if you want to, to um, support me, please press the dollar sign button and contribute something. <laughs> oh, one of the things that you can support me with is to go to my Etsy store and buy some plants because it's going to be dirt cheap, okay? I'm not, I'm not even thinking about like, the only thing that you're probably going to spend on is shipping. So um, if you want to partake in this whole thing, I mean, these plants are just lovely and they're not like the plants that you get from Home Depot that are over fertilized, over watered, and then they look good because they're plump. But yeah, once you take them home, they're either rot, they they have root rot, or, you know, they were over, over, um, overwatered so that so if you don't overwater eventually they're gonna die right if you keep overwatering them to make them seem like they still look good if you try to take them from that state into the state where you want it to be um have a balanced uh state of life and if you try to hold back the water from them that they're got that they've gotten used to um it's harder for it to come back alive from that state into a state where you want it to be perfect, you know, not getting a, not getting a lot of water and just living off of their leaves and all that stuff. That's where you want to be. But if you already got this plant, that's I I don't know I've I've bought uh, so many plants, not even just Home Depot, but also from uh, local nurseries and also local uh, growers that did not take care of them that well. You know, my, my plants will probably not thrive as much as these overwatered, over-fertilized ones, right? Okay, but the longevity of these plants are going to be so nice that it's going to live longer because if you're if you're doing it perfectly like fertilizing with organic i fertilize with nothing but worm casting i don't like to pay for fertilizers that's just you know that i'm not sure if it's going to burn my plants or what but um using worm casting is just the best keep doing that keep 
you know, just relying on the rainwater and in the summertime, just cover them or um, shade them and make sure you get, make sure you really protect them. From, we don't get a lot of um, hail storms here, but the hail would just kill them. Like they, it would just like eat their leaves up. So if you can protect them from hail, that's great. If you have like a covered patio, perfect. Because you can regulate the, you know, the temperature in them. As long as they're under shade, they will survive. They will thrive, especially in the, the coast, the coastal areas. Perfect. The places where it snows, you might not want to, you might want to keep them in pots, but if you're able to put, like, if you're able to propagate them and put them in the snow and just cover them when it snows and just keep them warm, maybe they'll survive. Not all of them. The Chavarius probably not, but um, just not the jades either. Anything that, that doesn't have that much water moisture in them will probably survive but um you can do that and then just keep the original plant inside your home or um, take them out in the summertime all that stuff it if you really have the intention if the intention to to make this happen you can it, it takes a little work but wherever you are especially in the east coast or the you know snowy places probably not but if you really like these plants and you're ready to make a temperature controlled environment for them they will thrive you know anything will thrive anywhere if you put the right conditions to it so um my point is is that my plants have not been fertilized with commercial fertilizer they mostly only get rainwater. The only time I don't, we have a drought here in California. The only time I water them with hose water is like if they haven't been watered for like 10 days, then I water them, you know, because I don't want to kill them. I don't want, um, you know, they're used to rainwater organic and then you put chemicals on them. It's not the best thing for them. So, um, yeah, if you have any questions, please comment and ask me or um, go to my Etsy. If you have any questions for Etsy, Etsy has a messaging system. If you um, go to Instagram and um, uh, subscribe there and follow me there, uh, please do. And that's it. If you want to go to my new channel also, Silver Fox Army, um, if you're bored and you just need some inspiration and um, good word and all that, um, go to that channel. It's going to be chock full of good message, feel good stuff. You know, there's a lot of there's a lot of um, channels that I go to to feel good, like different times of the day when I just want to feel sleepy or, you know, just listening to calm voice and telling me about their day, you know, cooking or something, I'll go to that channel to just fall asleep, which, you know, I mean, I still get the information. I still get the message, but um, it's just calming, you know, if I want an upbeat type, you know, then I go to like loud people, like, um, you know, people that, that talk about stuff that was funny or something, you know, I go to those people. If I'm cooking, um, I just, if you, if I just need white noise or whatever, I go to like a podcast or something like, that. did I show you, you guys my basket? This is my pine needle basket. Look at that. Wow. So cute. That was my first one. It has the lid. And then the second one, it has a little candle. So cute. Right? All right, so that's pretty much it. I'm gonna close at the um, at this point, and if you have any questions, please don't.
hesitate to ask make sure that you like this video and subscribe and tell you all your friends about it this is this is very um valuable it doesn't all only relate to succulents but it's more like of a marketing strategy i'll see you next time bye xoxo